Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to install current version of MySQL database in Windows. So let's get started. So first open your browser. Here simply type MySQL downloads. Here you will get MySQL downloads. It is from mysql.com. I will also mention the link in the description for your convenience. So just click on it and open it. Now here under download section, just scroll down. Here you will find MySQL community GPL downloads. So just click on it and open it. Now here under MySQL community downloads. Just click on it MySQL installer for Windows and open it. Now here, here select the version, the current version is 8.0.41 and it will automatically detect your operating system. You can see Microsoft Windows, it has been automatically detected here. Now here you will find two options. If you download this installer, then it will work for both both 32-bit and 64-bit operating system. So just click on here to download. Now here it will ask to log in or sign up. So just click on no thanks, just start my download. And now you can see it is downloading. So just wait for it to complete. Once it downloaded, just double click on it for installation. Let me minimize the browser. Now it will ask you, do you want to allow this application to make changes to your device? So just click yes. Again click yes. Now a installation wizard will open. Here you click on custom. Then simply click on next. Here click on MySQL servers. Again click on here. Again click on here. Then click on MySQL server, select it. And then just click on this arrow to move from left to right. So it will get installed. In the same way, click on applications. Click on MySQL workbench. Again click on it, click on MySQL Workbench, then again click on this arrow, then again here click on MySQL Sale, again click on here, then again click on MySQL Sale, then select MySQL Sale, and just click on this arrow to move from left to right. Now you can see these three products has been selected to be installed, so simply click on Next. Now here you can see these three products has been ready to install MySQL Server, MySQL Workbench or MySQL Sale. So just click execute and just wait for it to install. Now once all of these three products has been installed, completed, then just click on next here. Now here again click on next. Now type in networking, leave as it is, default. You can see here your port number, 3306, it is default port number. So simply just click next here. Now here click on next again. Now here you just type your password, make sure you remember that password. Again retype your password here. Then after that just click on next here. Now window service, keep it as it is and just click next. 
server file permissions your data will get saved in this location under c drive under program data yes grant full access leave it as it is default and just click next and here just click on execute wait for it to complete now once it completed just click on finish and just click on next here unmark this if you mark this if you click on finish then it will automatically open your workbench or cell so just click on finish now we need to set up the path variable for mysql so go to the location where you have installed mysql go to your c drive under c drive go to program files here you will find mysql just open mysql here go to mysql server just click on mysql server now here click on bin folder just open it bin folder now here just click on the address bar and just select and copy the full path till bin just copy this path let me minimize now go to your window search bar and here simply type environment variables here you will get edit the system environment variables so just open it edit system environment variables just open it now here click on environment variables now here under system variables just a scroll down find path and click on path then click on edit here now here just click on new and here just paste your copied path once you have pasted your just click on ok again click on ok and again click on ok one more time now go to your window search bar here you just type mysql and you can see mysql workbench mysql command line mysql cell that means mysql is installed correctly now in search bar type cmd and open your command prompt now here just type mysql space hyphen hyphen version just hit enter if you get this complete information mysql version 8.0.41 that means mysql is installed correctly now let's connect our command prompt to our mysql server so here you just type mysql hyphen u here you give the username which is root by default then hyphen p and just hit enter now here you just give your password which you have entered during installation just hit enter now you can see we have connected to our mysql server now let's create a new database so here just type create database customer after that just hit enter now you can see one rows got affected that means customer database is created let me show just type here so databases just hit enter now you can see this customer database is created so that's it if you found this video helpful please like share and subscribe to my channel if you have any issue leave a comment below i will be happy to help thanks for watching see you in the next video